Story time with Teacher Pritiba. Good morning, children. How are you all doing? Are you ready for today's story? If you are ready, let's begin. Today's story is titled Kitty and Me, written and illustrated by Sharon Smith Kane. Hello, everybody. Let me introduce you to my pet. This is Kitty. Kitty loves me, and I love Kitty. Kitty likes to purr. He says, "Meow, meow, meow," when he wants to eat. I usually feed him some kibble or maybe a treat. He makes a crunchy noise when he chews. And when he's full, he likes to snooze. In the morning, while I'm still in bed, Kitty likes to jump on my pillow and pat my head. I love to stroke his soft, warm fur, and when I do, he loves to purr. Meow, meow. Whenever Kitty decides to rest, he'll find a spot he likes the best. He'll scratch himself out. Or curl up in a ball, on the couch, or the bed, or sometimes on the chair in the hall. He closes his eyes and has kitty dreams of mouse or fish or dancing moonbeams. We play fun games around the house, like jump and pounce and catch the mouse. He rolls and tumbles as he play. I giggle and laugh at his funny ways. Sometimes Kitty scratches, and I say no, bad. Then he runs and hides. He thinks I'm angry, but I'm not angry, and my ouch goes away. So we're friends again and ready to play. In the evening. Kitty goes to the backyard. Kitty sniffs the scents of the summer and listens to the sound of birds and bees. Sometimes Kitty hides under the bush or shady trees. He likes to catch insects. He likes to chase a fly or a bumblebee. And sometimes he sharpens his claws on the bark of the tree. He likes to follow the garden path to the place where the birds are having a bath. Oh, what fun to watch them splash! One day, a puppy came looking for fun. He wanted to play, but Kitty was scared. He ran, dashing away. He climbed up a tree. He would still be there if it were not for me. I saved Kitty from the dog. After Kitty's backyard adventure, I hugged him and pet him and took him back home. Kitty purrs, meow, meow, and gives me a lick. Kitty was hungry. So I gave him some food, and soon, with full tummy, he was happy again. Before bedtime, I usually read him a story or little rhymes. Kitty listens. While listening, he licks his fur and cleans his paws. When I go to bed, Kitty comes to keep me warm. And protects me from any harm. I usually have a good night's sleep when Kitty's around me. Thank you, Kitty. I love Kitty, and Kitty loves me, and that's the way it will always be.